Good afternoon from Kepler Morrell and I am talking to you here in our offices and as should be abundantly clear while we are excellent at being an attorney and representing injured and disabled workers here in Colorado we obviously suck in terms of plant maintenance uh, we kill plants we uh, make clients thrive and take care of their cases but we kill plants Today I wanted to talk about a very common question that we often get, which is, can I quit my job, take another job, um, if I am on workers' compensation? Short answer is yes, but watch out, there are a lot of pitfalls, there are a lot of potential problems that can happen. So, in general, um, if you are injured on the job, you're treating, um, and you are back at work either because you are, the injury isn't affecting your ability to do work or you're back at work but you're doing kind of modified duty modified job and you're losing um, uh, income or you're not losing income because sometimes if you're on modified employment uh, they'll pay you less in which case the insurance company has to uh, pay you two-thirds of the lost wages um, you can, if you, uh, if a dream job comes available, let's say you've always wanted to, for example, produce movies and all of a sudden a movie production uh, studio offers you employment, can you take it even if you are still treating for an on-the-job injury? And our general advice is, if it is a dream job, if it is something that you have wanted to do for a very long time, then by all means, pursue your dreams. Um, if you uh, find yourself needing, needing to move because, for example, your spouse or family are moving and now you're going to be off to North Carolina or some other place in the, uh, the world, uh, and by all means you can do that and you can uh, handle um, and you can handle your workers' compensation claim, you can quit and start a new job, not a problem if it's necessary. So big rule is, is it necessary? Is it something that you really want to do? If it is, by all means, do not let the workers' compensation treatment and injury stop you from pursuing your dreams. You can still treat for your work injury, even if you move to another state. You can still get benefits, even if you quit your job. Here is where it get can get complicated, and here are some of the pitfalls that you may face if you want to take on a different job. Number one, number one that we see is, you may not get lost wage benefits from your workers' compensation uh, insurance company if you quit your job and you aren't making what you used to make. So if your employer, for example, if you were used to make $1,000 a week before you got injured, you're now injured and you are back at modified duty making 1000 and and now you quit the job, take something else, and for some reason you um, that job pays less, you're not going to get wage loss. Number two, make sure that you aren't doing anything that will aggravate your condition or constitute or be, uh, uh, be claimed to be a new injury. If you are in a new job and you are starting to do things that aggravate your condition, delay your treatment, etc., what you're going to see happen very quickly is that the workers' compensation and insurance company will try to blame your need for current treatment, not on the injury that you sustained with them, but because now you're injuring yourself on the later job. And that can complicate your case, not fatally, but it can complicate your case. And oftentimes what we've had to do is file another claim against the new employer, and that can make life a little difficult. Number three, let's say you quit your job um, and you go to work for the new company and the new company closes, lays you off, uh, says, oh geez, it's not working and now you're off work, you've got restrictions, um, I can't probably get you wage loss unless your restrictions tighten up or change. Um, even though you are off work with, through no fault of your own, but for some reason that job went south. Uh, that can be a, a problem for you. Other than that, that tends to be the only benefit, again, that, that tends to be compromised if you, if you quit your work to take another job is your potential need for 
for future wage loss while you're in treatment. Now, um, as always, it's incredibly fact dependent. It can uh, depend, you can have different results, but based on small little facts. For example, if you need surgery later on down the road and you have to take time off of work from the new job because the doctor said off work because of the surgery, chances are, again, depending on the facts, chances are we can get our client's wage loss in that situation. So our general advice is if this is a dream job, if this is something that you need to do because you want to stay with family, your spouse is moving and you'd like to stay with your spouse and you need to move to a new place, by all means, uh, after talking with your attorney, you can go ahead and make that, that decision because the attorney can kind of give you the particular advice you may need in your specific situation. But in general, we tend to tell people, don't quit your job to take on a new job uh, without talking with us first and without being aware of the risks. Now, one thing that can sometimes happen is injured workers will say, well, my, my employer is not accommodating or my restrictions. I can't lift more than 10 pounds, 15 pounds, and they're not accommodating. They're saying I have to do it and I'm gonna quit the job. Again, don't do that without talking with an attorney because what we need to make sure is there's clear documentation that the reason you're leaving the job is because you have restrictions and the employer is not accommodating you. The worst thing that can happen is you just stop showing up. And then what's gonna happen when you try to get a wage loss benefit is the employer is going to do what we kind of call a Casablanca Claude Rain saying, I'm shocked, shocked they didn't show up. We were always accommodating them and there's nothing in writing. There's no documentation. Having legal representation in your case can make sure that if you need to leave the work because of work injury reasons, there is a written, documented um, a email, fax, uh, letter, text message documenting that the reason you're really leaving is because of the work injury and the employer's failure to accommodate you. So, as always, and I hope as this video makes clear, work injuries in Colorado can be very complicated and very fact-dependent, and you need somebody walking with you who can help you and uh, guide you through this long process. At Kaplan Morrell, we've been helping injured and disabled workers since 1995. We do work injuries. This is what we do. We're very good at it. We would love to serve you or anyone you know. Please have them call us at 970-356-9898. And with that, have a good day.